What's up guys? Today we have some exciting and unexpected news from the tech world. Microsoft has just offloaded the Mono project to the wide HQ. If you're as intrigued as I am, stick around as we dive deep into what does this mean for the open source community, the .NET future and the Wine HQ. Well, but before we get into the details of this recent development, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The Mono project, originally launched in 2001 by Miguel de Casa, has been a key part of the .NET ecosystem, enabling cross-platform development over two decades. From Android to iOS, Linux and beyond, Mono was a trailblazer that made cross-platform a reality in .NET ecosystem. Microsoft took over the stewardship of Mono in 2016 when I acquired the Xamarin, but as the technology evolved, so did the needs of .NET community, leading to the rise of a more modern fork within .NET runtime. By the way, if you're passionate about .NET, you definitely should check my weekly newsletter on LinkedIn. Every week, I dive deep into .NET technologies, share insights, and keep you up date with the last trends. It's a great way to stay informed, so make sure you subscribe. The link is in the description. Now, fast forward to yesterday, Microsoft announced the passing the baton to Wine HQ, the organization behind the popular Wine software that allows Windows applications to run on Linux. This move, while surprising, makes a lot of sense. Wine has been leveraging Mono for years, and now they will officially steward this future. But so why is it important? Well, it signals a shift in Microsoft focus. They've been investing heavily in open source.NET, and with the modern fork of Mono integrated into .NET runtime, the original product's role has naturally diminished. But what does this mean for developers and broader open source community? For one, existing Mono users and maintainers are encouraged to migrate into .NET, where they will find more modern and supported runtime. Why need Q taking over Mono means that it will continue to be maintained, especially in the context of running Windows applications on Linux. For those who've been following the Mono project, it's a bittersweet moment. It's an end of an era, but it's also a new beginning under the capable hand of Q team. Well, personally, I think this is a smart move from Microsoft. They're consolidating their efforts in a modern .NET platform while just ensuring that original Mono project doesn't fade away. And personally, I'm excited to see how Q will innovate in Mono. What do you think about this movement? Are you surprised or did you see it coming? Let's discuss it in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Until next time, keep coding and stay curious. Bye.